The Oscar Pistorius murder trial, the defense wrapping up its case, their key witness on the stand this morning, and ABC's Lama Hassan has the very latest for us. In what is expected to be the final piece of testimony presented in the trial of Oscar Pistorius, a sports doctor tried to explain the Blade Runner's actions the night he shot and killed model girlfriend Riva Steenkamp. You've got a paradox of an individual who is supremely able and you've got an individual who is significantly disabled. According to the psychologist, Pistorius acted as any disabled person would, startled by a noise, thinking an intruder was inside his home. Mr. Pistorius' significant disability, when he is left without the benefit of his prosthesis, does not allow him sufficient mobility or balance to protect himself and take flight. The defense's lady, goal? To answer to this question exhibit. posed earlier by you, the prosecution you, to the Blade you. Runner. You walk towards the danger. That's correct, my lady. Why would you do that? I'm not sure, my lady. On More Wednesday, a separate good. psychology report dealt a potential blow to the state's case that the Paralympian was a jealous lover who fought with Steenkamp before she died. The court-mandated report requested by the prosecution found no history of abnormal aggression or violence in Pistorius, no characteristics of narcissism, nor psychopathy, which is mostly associated with men in abusive relationships and have been linked to rage-type murder and intimate relationships. But the report did find Pistorius has a history of feeling insecure and vulnerable. Well, this trial has lasted longer than anyone expected in South Africa. Closing arguments and a verdict are given only after both sides and the judge have had time to prepare. But there is immense pressure on all sides to wrap things up quickly. Amy and David.